being in this car feels like being in a very nice handbag. <laughs> the leather's fantastic, and it, and everything's yeah. a place for everything. It is it is well thought out. The entertainment works well. Have you been inside of a handbag before? Briefly. Have you uh, taken a chance to look at the eco tips? I don't Let me read you some of them. Oh. So you the, the most economical thing you can do is not move. Yes. Twenty. No. Twenty two. No. Twenty four. No. Higher than twenty four. Yeah. Twenty five. No. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Yep. You could play that one uh, late 2000s hit, What Does the Fox Say? That's the most millennial thing you've said. Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Chris here with Daily Motor, and I have a fitting car with which to review with Chris. It is the 2023 Land Rover Range Rover P400 SE SWB. Yes. Are you proud of me, getting the whole name there? Thank you so much. I just noticed something. This is a brown car. It is. It's very- I thought it was gray, it's, but it it's is It's luxury brown. brown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can look up this specific color. Uh, yeah, very, uh, very nice, classy brown. Um, you notice very flat hoods here. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, very nice. I feel like I interrupted your flow and I do apologize. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it, you just <laughs> wanted to start KS immediately and that's quite all right. This is a little bit of a stripper. Um, it does have cooled seats, but uh, only about $123,000. The mid-level Meridian sound system of which we did shoot a review. You can check the link below for that. A very nice red, uh, sort of burgundy-ish interior, which we'll see here in a moment. See, I thought that was brown, too. No, no. So we got like a kind of a, a reddish maroon look. Well, that's just because the seals are so nice and tight for the sound end. That's inside, right. That they okay. get, you know, you get a little bit. No, this is, it is more like a wine, like, so it's brown with purple interior. Yes. Yeah. I like that. And we'll that. see that in the wheel as well. It's a good wheel for POV shooting, pro tip. Uh, yes, this gives us an air suspension. This is the newest Range Rover. It's been a little while since this came out, and we are just now getting it. 50 PSI rear tire inflation. Pirelli Scorpion. Yeah, uh, very important there. Scorpion Zeros. Soft closed doors, a oh. luxury feature. <laughs> As I slam it shut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Range Rovers have this split tailgate, which is very nice. And this actually gives you a few features for watching polo matches, because you can hold this down. I like the shag carpet they put in these. Nice carpeting. Bring this up. A little bit of a, a rest there. And what? then, look at this. These are speakers that only come on if you enable them from the infotainment, and they play out here. They play outside. So the idea is you sit here, and you watch your polo match, and you have nice, you know, smooth jazz playing down at you from your tailgate. Interesting. I thought that they folded out like this so the hunting season in Britain, you could lay your rifle on this. That could be as well. Mm. Yeah, and then what would you listen to? The hunt? Is it like something yeah, or like, you play like, what do they hunt for in Britain? Fox. So would you play fox noises then? Could. Hmm. You could play that one uh, late 2000s hit, What Does the Fox Say? That's the most millennial thing you've said so far. <laughs> Love it. So far, he says. This does not give us the third row, I, I don't And you then believe. fold that down. Excuse me? Oh, you probably have to do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is a backrest. You don't want it coming down That's externally. Right. Yeah. Um, Wait, sorry, what did you say? I could not figure out how to get this to not be there. Ah. Quite clever, actually. Yeah. Can I fold the third row up? I don't think there is a third row. Oh, there's a wheel. Yes. <laughs> That's excellent. Not only is that full size, it's just another wheel. Yeah. They're like, should we put another wheel in this car and they said yeah and a tire as well so it's a five seat range rover full sized mm -hmm. with no v8 motor no no this does have the three liter inline six which i think is plenty will this shut this as well if you press this yep. see i always thought these looked weird the new range rover because it doesn't actually have taillights i was going to ask you what you think of that i quite like it Well, it saves all the people in 20 years taking stupid black tint to their taillights, doesn't it? Mm, yeah, it's just already black tinted. Yeah. This is a 48 volt mild hybrid car, so you do have a small bit of electrification helping you out, but it's not like, uh, where, where, where are you going? You got the back seat to root. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, wrangle up my wiring. I'll come around the other side. Okay. So you do have uh, a little bit of help there though with electricity. Back seat is a nice place to be, even for adults such as ourselves. You got plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. You got a nice flip down armrest okay, here with myself. places to put things and places to put drinks. 
You have many sorts of different power outputs down there, as well as dual zone climate control in the rear with vents. Are these foot? No, they're not. They're not. Though you can activate chauffeur mode from the screen and move this kind of recliner oh, seat nice. and everything. I so like the leather wraps. Hit. Yeah, seat that? controls. Oh. I like the leather wrapped handles with speakers in them and mm -hmm. vents. Although these aren't actually speakers in the back. Well, the ones up front are. What? Yeah, they just look like it for, for symmetry. So it's a fake speaker. Correct. Well, the ones up front are real, though, these ones. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I, this is one of my favorite interior car colors. This is a proper interior color, yeah. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'd give you a green exterior with this as the interior? If you paid enough, probably. Good. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. I like how the little rubber stopper bits have worn into the metal. Yes. Well, you know, you gotta keep it uh, keep it from rattling around. Cause That's these, true. These... I'd rather have it do that than rattle. Yeah. These cars do not squeak and rattle. To the front. Soft leather. It is. It's you know, JLR does some of the best leather. Yeah. JLR and Lexus, top two leather. These door handles close as you get driving. Extra aerodynamics. This car, for the size of it, got pretty decent highway fuel economy. Would you like to guess the number? 20. No. 22. No. 24. No. Higher than 24? Yeah. 25? No. 26. Mm -mm. 27. Yep. Wow. Well, is I guess I suppose with the inline six, that does make sense. Yeah, but this is a large vehicle on yeah. big wheels, and it's, it's still got 27 miles per gallon. It's kind of slippery, though. It is. I okay. think they've made it really aerodynamic, especially with the, the handles out there and stuff. Yeah. How do you open the glove box? I thought you had one of these. Although you wouldn't have sat in the right side. Oh, I see. Isn't that clever? That one has a bit difficulty opening it. It springs back at you. I don't... Yeah, I don't quite understand so that. So you have to use two hands then. Mm -hmm. If only it would spring back a little further, it would completely latch itself. Right. So you still have to push it closed. Isn't that a nice piece of leather for the... For the oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for the information. Mm -hmm. Up here you have a good amount of places for things. This closes. You got a nice bit of green here. And then there's a secret panel. Oh. They're giving you a lot of extra storage well, and two USB Carplay. ports. Yep. And then uh, this opens up to give you even more storage and some wireless device charging. And then this opens up and gives you a place to cool things. Yes. And a place to do essentially nothing, I guess. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Um, Have you cooled anything this week? No. I suspect maybe that's for us. Because oftentimes on long drives, batteries overheat. So you could put them in yeah, the same. Have them so thing. cool and ready to go. That's right. Top tip. Thank if you, you're going to shoot Rover. POV videos, yeah. you can get, get yourself a Range Rover. I always think of Jeremy Clarkson when I drive these. because he's He has a Range Rover. He does. This is a 48-volt mild hybrid system, meaning when I start it, it's going to simply start running. There's no kind of like starter that you feel or hear because it's a very powerful jolt of electricity. The engine just becomes. Yeah. Yeah, I quite it, like that. It just begins. This PV infotainment system is one of my favorites. We're dealing with a 13 inch screen right this here. What? PV? PV? It's on the other side. PV, PV? It's P I V I is, is how it's spelled. And it works really, really well. We've got a full entertainment breakdown if you want to see that, but you can either leave it on this main screen here and access either different main screens. You can see your navigation. It's got a lot of contrast, good responsiveness. And do that, a bunch of pinch to zoom, move Ooh. around, very easy to do. You can see how, how nice and crisp oh, all of on, the font is. We're on everything. Ultima Drive. Mm, so those rogues should have been Ultima. Yeah. Ultima. And then you can do things like go over to your media and, and see all your applications. Check out something like, also, nice clicks. If we Ooh. go to Sirius XM, you see all your channels and big, uh, big vibrant colors. And like, if you want to go. What does the mountains button do? Well, that's for if we were to go up into the mountains. Oh, that's for low range on the gearbox. Yes. Because this is a true off-roader at the end of the day. And you can head home, and then you also get your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Look quite nicely. Good gauge digital screen as well. Still giving you some customization still wants to do this. Can we cancel that? Yeah, you just cancel that. Okay. And you can customize the gauges, get a few different layouts if you want something a little more modern looking. A lot of information to see there. Also, a large steering wheel on this car. It's, it's very, very thick and wide, like very commanding. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Range Rover and Land Rover, they do like to have their high up commanding driving positions. Is that a thing? Yes. I have noticed a few times driving around that sometimes it doesn't love to go into gear. Not like from a transmission standpoint, but just the shifter, you have to kind of really have your foot on the brake and really yank it back in order to engage it. Interesting. Range Rovers are interesting in that they have very luxurious interiors. They look very, very great. Their technology is all up to date. But because it is still a very large, kind of capable body on frame sort of SUV, it drives a bit uncouth. Hmm. And it's not to say it isn't nimble because this does have rear wheel steering and you can actually make surprisingly tight turns. I mean, like look at this. If I wanted to whip a Yui right here. Holy crap. Isn't that really impressive? That is quite impressive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. And if you're <laughs> doing some sort of off-roading and it's a tight spot or something, you're really going to appreciate being able to make those tight turns. But you do feel a lot of kind of suspension wallow. Oh, you have a green. And sort of herky jerkiness yeah. in the car. It doesn't feel as lithe and light on its feet as something like an X5 or a GLS. There is just something cool though about rolling around in a Range Rover. Yeah, it's got know? a presence. I mean, the whole Range Rover brand is so much built on clout and reputation and... and Breaking down. And the, <laughs> the namesake. In general. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you had a, a Range Rover earlier this week. I had a Land, Land Rover. Rover Defender, and, and it um, didn't break until the last day. Okay, so you made it six days. Yes. So, uh, Daily Motor top tip, if you want to own a Jaguar or Land Rover product, you can have it for at least six days before that's you right. have to go to the dealer. Yeah, or just don't drive it when it's very cold outside, because mm -hmm. that's, I think, why it, it broke. They get grumpy. Yeah, but no, they are cool. I always like having Land Rovers and Range Rovers, because they're just... They're, they're different. I was just going to say, different a is a good way to put yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that, you know, car to car, brand to brand are similar and... Sorry, there oh. is no valid cloud subscription. No. So, so I cannot search for locations online. Yes. I didn't understand. No. How can I help? Problem is, when you're reviewing a... Uh -huh. You can't say the name in the car. I had in the Defender, mm -hmm. It every time I said the name, that came on the screen, so... I had to stop saying the L word. Well, if you were to watch the Daily Motor uh, infotainment review, you would see that you can go into voice settings here and turn off the wake word. Or you can set your own wake word to whatever sort of phrase you want. Anything you can think of, you can set it to be the wake word. That could be dangerous. What would you set your wake word as? Um, help, I've broken down. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yes, they do feel very different now, and I was thinking about that. I mean, obviously, X5, X7 is kind of one of our favorite cars in this class, but it is because it does feel a bit predictable. I mean, it, it, does. it drives like yeah. a car. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very nice and simple and easy to use. But you do get in a Range Rover, and you feel like you're in a, a very much more unique product. Even though this one is a mm. little bit more modestly spec, it doesn't have a V8. This kind of feels like you're getting something cool. I think that could also be because they only make SUVs. And we don't have, like, you know, BMW makes the, the 2 Series, the 3 Series, the 4 Series, the 5 Series, six, or 7, 8. You know, like, they have a lot of cars. They have a lot of products, whereas Range Rover only has a handful of things. That's true. So it kind of adds to the uniqueness a little bit. Yeah, that does that does help. And they do a good job marketing their products, too. They they have kept, even their, their lesser expensive models are still a bit uncommon. You don't see too many Velars or... Um, their other small one. The Discovery Sport. Oh, yeah. no, the Evoke. Evoke, That's Thank the you. one that Victoria Beckham designed. Okay. So you don't see a lot of them, so even though they really don't cost all that much more, they feel like a unique product. Like, if you owned one and drove one around, you wouldn't see a lot of them. You wouldn't pull up at a stoplight right. and see three more next right, to right. you. Yeah. You have a nice head-up display. It's telling me the speed up there, as well as the speed that I am traveling. Sorry, the speed limit, and then also the speed that I'm traveling. Very quiet in here, too. We've got double pane glass everywhere. It's quiet unless you're going like 20 miles per hour and then it makes a cooing noise. Yeah, there are some electrical noises that happen down here. That is true. But from an NVH perspective, yeah. quiet. Although, it, again, we go back to those very inflated tires and you feel a lot of road infractions. Like if I run over these little things, rattles into the cabin and air suspension can't do anything. Kind of that subtle 
uh, impact harshness that a very inflated tire provides. And I don't know why the tires need to be that inflated, but they are. What do you think about ride quality of the air suspension overall? Because Range Rover, Land Rover, they've been doing air suspension for like decades. Mm -hmm. So you think that they would have it pretty well dialed in at this point. I, I think it's quite good. Yeah, I enjoyed it in the Defender last yeah. week. Yeah, I think their, their general suspension quality is quite good. And we will not be utilizing the off-road elements of this vehicle because we have been uh, kindly asked by Land Rover not to. Yeah, we're not allowed. Mm -hmm. so, not sorry. allowed to bury this one. Yeah. But uh, I imagine it would be quite competent because you do have <clears throat> grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl, and wade mode. That's for the English countryside. Yeah, and wade mode will actually... Oh, it's raising us. Oh, now it's putting us back down. Because uh, this car will actually detect how high the water is yeah, you and tell the, you if it gets you have too it. deep. You have it. Uh, you have to oh. click this. And, and the defender it was on the main. Menu. Well, you can customize that menu. Yeah. yeah, so you can go up to two feet eight inches. Wow. Side note: Look at the very adorable 500 over there. That's an electric one. Mm, is it? Mm. Yep. 500 e. Okay. You can only wade below six miles per hour. Mm -hmm. They don't want you bounding through the uh, through the water puddles. Yeah. Have you uh, taken a chance to look at the eco tips? I don't Let me think read I you have. some of them. Oh. So you the, the most economical thing you can do is not move. Yes. Yeah. To improve efficiency, when safe to do so, apply accelerator smoothly and progressively, mm. and then lift accelerator. Oh. I like the one where it says, anticipate traffic flow and avoid sudden braking. Yeah, so they'd rather you just have a crash. Yeah, yeah. It's more efficient that way. Avoid Correct. driving at high speeds. Yeah. Ah, where possible, combine multiple short journeys into one longer journey. Do they mean so that the engine doesn't have to get cold again and then reheat itself? I think they mean don't stop at Starbucks. <laughs> this is the one that got me in the Defender outbound. Remove external roof racks and boxes. But that, they literally that put had them on many of from them. the factory. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Or dealer port or dealer installed. Sure, sure, sure. It is a bit difficult to drive this smoothly. I've noticed that. Like that was my foot just being in the same position and we're taking off a bit aggressively. The transmission shifts very smooth. That's because it's a ZF8 speed. Right. Yeah. But the general tuning, I actually drive it around. Oh, we're going for this. There was a lot of lag in that uh, throttle right there. <laughs> I pressed the full gas when I said we're going for it, and it took a while. But I, I am in eco mode, to be fair. And I drive it around in eco mode a lot because in normal mode, it gets jumpier. Comfort mode, I should say. That would drive me insane, that noise. Yeah. I, I have tried to avoid driving this car in general. Mm. Because of that. <laughs> what have you been driving instead? And motorcycle? Yes. Ah. Or the Bolt. Obviously, one of the biggest reasons nowadays that people buy Range Rovers is is the looks and the appearance and, and the general feel. And I do think that Land Rover really does a good job of that still because being in this car feels like being in a very nice handbag. <laughs> the leather's fantastic and, it, and everything's yeah. a place for everything. It is, it is well thought out. The entertainment works well. Have you been inside of a handbag before? Briefly. Interesting. Briefly. Okay, so you have the experience. I, I, I'm, I'm coming to this informed. But if you're somebody who cares more about the on-road driving experience versus perhaps either off-road explicit capability or um, the clout, the image, then you may uh, you, you may look towards something more like the X7, X5, or a Mercedes product, or the Audi Q7. A little bit dated, but get the I SQ7. I love the Q7. And, the Q7's yeah, a great car. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you, you might spend less money. That noise is terrible. Yeah. Oh, it just stopped. Oh, now it's back. It seems to be a bit speed dependent. There are a few creaks and rattles back there as well. But this does have 87,000 miles on it. That's right. <laughs> One more tight turn. Excellent overview cameras as well. And there we are. Very easy car to use in general. Some of these buttons get a bit confusing. The door handles are in a weird spot. All week, okay, with the Land Rover Defender, 
I would get out of it in the dark and I'd be like this. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, where is the door handle? They're too low. Yeah. The door handle needs to be here. Also, doesn't it look like this mid-range speaker could have been built a little nicer into like the D pillars or the A pillars? Yeah, something? it's also kind of a cheap plastic look. Yeah. Surprised there's not some metal metal on that. So it's thank you to Chris for out of you flying now, all the way out here simply to film this review with us. Uh, it's very, very kind of him. And uh, in exchange, he's getting vitamin D radiated into him right now. Feels quite nice. Yeah. And thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one. We're Chris and Charlie with Daily Motor, and as always, Brown on. general noises on. Ooh. Made it through a week without a check engine, although the car goes back tomorrow. I was, was going to say, you still haven't it's done still, it yet. Yeah. You're not out of the woods yet. Mm -mm. Thank mm -hmm. you.